Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about uh, how to add a new user in the Kali Linux and how to remove the user from the Kali Linux. So in the previous session, we have discussed about how to install the Kali Linux in the virtual machine and also we have seen the importance of a sudo command. So because the sudo command will be used to create a new user and uh, after creating a new user, we have to change the privileges of that particular user. That means we have to add that particular new user to the sudoers group because sudoers are the group of users who can execute the commands as a root or administrator. If you want to execute any command, so that can be done as an administrator only for the users who are available in that particular sudoers group. So in this session, we'll see how to create a user and how to add the user into the sudoers group. Right? And also how to remove the users from the Kali Linux. So just go to the command from terminal. So now we are in the Kali environment. So Kali Linux and Kali login. Right? Kali login. Now in order to find out the users, all the users will be available in the folder etc. Right? So just to change the directory to etc. So go to the ls command. Give the ls command. So to list out all the files available. So here you can find the password. So just uh, uh, display the information of this particular file so that we will get all the users available in our Kali environment. So in order to check the content of this particular file, we have to use a command called cat. Cat PASWD. So here you can see, uh, yes, Sandeep is one uh, user, Kali is one user. So all these are the different users available in this Kali environment. Now, now we'll see how to create a user right so sudo is a command which is which can be used to create a user so here the syntax for adding the user is sudo uh, add user i'll go with uh, my name or uh, yeah Sa saradi right so this will add one user see it will prompt for the password so here the sudo is a command which executes the commands given as an administrator right so here it will prompt for the password i'll give the password for kali so don't worry that password which you have typed in the keyboard will not be displayed on the screen in the linux environment but still type correctly and press enter so you can observe here adding user saradi adding new group adding new user saradi with a group so and so so and so and it will it will it, will, it was asking for the password so give the password so again, if you type the password, it will not be displayed on the screen, but still don't worry. So type the password carefully and press enter. It will prompt for uh, retyping a new password. So again, repeat the same password, press enter. So password updated successfully. So one user Sardi is created with a given password. And see, again, it, will, it was asking for a few information to update the profile. So I'll give the information, full name and a room number, let it, let, be, let, let it be 1021, so whatever it may be. So work phone number, okay, I'll give some other, uh, any random numbers. So any other, no, just press enter. So is the information correct? If you press Y and, print, uh, and press enter, automatically this will be saved in your profile. Right, and if you press no, that means n, it will not be saved. So I'll go with a y and press enter. So automatically we got a prompt. So that implies so the command was executed successfully without any errors. That means the user has been added now. So let us check whether the user is had added or not. So what we have to do? So you go to the etc cd etc and uh, cat password. See, here you can find the username Sarvi. So the user has been added. Now, it, it just, we have added the user, right? But we have not given the privileges, administrator privileges. That means we have to add the user into sudoers group, right? So the sudoers group members can only execute the commands as a root or administrator. So in order to change the user, so in the previous session we have seen the sudo command, the importance of sudo command. 
so there we have seen one command called uh, sudo su which can switch from one user to another user without logging out from the current user so here the current user is kali and i am not uh, logging out from the kali but i am just entering into my new user so here you can observe so previously kali kali and here you can observe saradi and kali and here let us try to install any software so which which is sudo apt sorry apt uh, get and uh, install wireshark so it will prompt for the password just give the password press enter so you can observe here saradi is not in the sudo file that means the tools or packages can be installed only with the help of privileges of administrator that means we have to add the user to the sudo group then only we can work with the sudo command here so in order to add this particular user to the uh, sudo group go to the root so just give the exit from this particular current user right go to the root so in order to go to the root just type sudo su so automatically it will go to the root and here you can give sudo hyphen a sorry so just wait so let us come with the kali so here yeah no no problem in root or kali no problem so use the command sudo uh, user mod hyphen a hyphen a is for appending and uh, hyphen g is for group appending this particular user to the group so which user just give here the username so we are adding this particular saradi into a group that means a means appending so sudo mod means sudo mod mean user mod means changing the operations so user modification simply we can say so press enter automatically it will be given permission to the sudo right now let us check let us uh, move on to that particular user sudo su saradi and here you can now apply sudo uh, try to install any 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 uh, application sudo app get install uh, wireshark see it will prompt for the password give password see it was started uh, installing this one right so that means previously it was not added to the sudoers so that's why so we can't apply the sudo command so just give n right so this is how we can create a user add a new user and add the new user to the sudoers group right now how to remove the user so just now we have seen so let us move on to the thing let us check out uh, the users so i'll come out from this uh, saradi login so cd hyphen etc and uh, cat password so here you can see the users saradi now i just want to remove this particular user okay so for that just go to the root uh, root command sudo su and uh, use a command called user delete and give the name of the user which you want to delete so obviously it will be deleted now it was deleted right let us check see sandeep is the last user sardi has been deleted so he, here uh, this is a user right this is a user and uh, there is no other user after the sandeep but previously we had that particular user sardi right so this is a command which is used to delete the user so first we have to enter into the root uh, root and then we have to delete the users so this is a small session to add and delete the new users in the kali linux so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this procedure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.